In this session, I'm going to explain about ion selective electrodes. Let us consider a glass of water that contains so many ions like uh, Na+, K+, Ca2+, Mg2+, H+, and so on. If there is one electrode which is uh, sensitive to particular ions like uh, H+, ions in the mixture, then that electrode is known as ion selective electrode. Hence, ion selective electrode is defined as the electrode which particularly responds for the specific ions in the mixture. And the potential of that electrode is a function of those ions in the solution. So this electrode is particularly respond for the specific ions and the potential of this electrode is directly proportional to those ions in the solution. Most common example for ion selective electrode is the glass electrode and the calcium electrode. Now let us see in detail about glass electrode. This glass electrode is an ion select sensitive electrode and it is sensitive to H plus ions. Hence, it is used to determine the pH of a solution. pH is nothing but uh, minus log concentration of H plus. So this glass electrode is sensitive to H plus ions. Hence, we can use uh, this glass electrode to determine the pH of a solution. Now let us see the principle of this electrode. When two solution of different pH are separated by thin walled glass membrane, for example, uh, the, uh, if the two different pH as A and B, when these two different uh, when these two solutions of different pH are separated by this thin walled glass membrane, then they develop a potential difference between the two surfaces of the membrane. Let the potential and let the two oh, potential will be taken as Ea and Eb. Then the magnitude of the potential depends on the difference between the pH of the two solution. If pH of one of the solution is kept constant for example pH of this solution is taken as constant then the glass electrode is the linear function of pH of the second solution that means uh, if uh, we take this pH of the solution as constant then the glass electrode potential depends on the pH of this second solution now let us see the construction of this glass electrode this electrode mainly consists of glass bulb which made up of special type of glass with high electric conductance. This glass bulb is filled with 0.1 molar HCl solution of constant pH. Why constant pH? Because uh, this HCl solution contains the known concentration hence it has the constant pH. And and this bulb is inserted with the silver wire coated with AgCl. Overall glass electrode is dipped in analyte solution containing H plus ions. This is the construction of glass electrode. Now let us see the representation of glass electrode. This glass electrode mainly contains silver silver chloride wire which is in contact with the HCl that is known concentration of HCl which is in contact with the glass bulb which is in contact with the analyte solution. So this is the representation of glass electrode. Now we will see the working of glass electrode. When an electrode is dipped in the analyte solution then a potential is developed across the membrane. In the previous slide itself, I, I told here the glass bulb is filled with HCl solution which is having the known concentration. Hence the pH inside the bulb is constant. When the glass electrode is immersed in a solution 
of unknown pH, then it can be represented as the analyte solution whose concentration is taken as C1. Here, this analyte solution contains H plus ions. Hence, C1 is equal to concentration of H plus. So, uh, the representation is analyte solution, which is in con contact with the glass membrane, which is in contact with the reference solution, that is the HCl solution. It has the known concentration and this concentration is represented as C2. So this referen uh, reference solution is in contact with the internal reference electrode that is AG, AGCl, whose electrode potential is referred, uh, represented as E, AG, AGCl. When this electrode is immersing in the analyte solution, then the glass membrane exchanges the ions with the solution. That is indicated here. Here we can clearly see that the glass membrane exchanges the ions with the solution. The exchange of ions by inner and outer glass membrane give rise to a boundary potential, that is EB which consists of two potential, that is E1 and E2, which are associated with the outer and the inner membrane. So therefore, uh, this boundary potential, we can write it as E1 minus E2. Apply Nernst equation, then the boundary potential becomes, Nernst equation is E is equal to E0 plus 0 0.0591 by N into log concentration of Mn plus. So here uh, we used silver silver chloride standard electrode. So this E0 becomes E0 Ag AgCl plus 0 0.0591 by N into log. Here we used uh, analyte solution. Its concentration is taken as C1. So here we written C1. Then for E2, we taken HCl, HCl solution, whose concentration is represented as C2. Here plus E0 and minus E0 get cancelled. Then the equation becomes EB is equal to 2, 0 0.0591 by N. N is number of electrons here for, uh, in analyte solution H plus uh, ions will present. So the uh, number of for H plus ions the number of electrons will be 1. So here we written 1 into log C1. In the analyte solution uh, I already told H plus ion will present. So we can also return log C1 is also written as log concentration of H plus then minus 0 0.0591 by n is 1 that is 1 written here then log c2 as it is here uh, concentration of hcl is constant then 0 0.0591 is also constant so we return this ex expression as 0 0.0591 into log concentration of h plus plus x where x is the constant that is minus 0 0.0591 into log C2. But we know pH is equal to minus log concentration of H plus. Then this expression can also be written as AB is equal to minus 0 0.0591 into pH plus X. So by using this expression, we can calculate the boundary potential. If C1 is equal to C2, then uh, if, you, if you look at this second equation, if C1 is equal to C2, then this term also gets cancelled. That means the boundary potential is equal to 0. But this glass, uh, glass electrode shows some potential even though the C1 is equal to C2. So it can be concluded that the electrode potential is not only depends on the boundary potential but also depends on the some other terms. Now let us see what are the some other terms. First one is the it, it depends on the boundary potential that is EB. It also depends on the potential of the internal reference electrode that is E, AG, AGCL. And uh, this uh, 
this glass electrode potential also depends on a small asymmetry potential due to non uniformity of the glass it is uh, taken as e asymmetric thus glass electrode potential is the sum of boundary potential and uh, the potential of silver silver chloride and the asymmetry potential we know the formula for uh, bond um, pot uh, potential so substitute that equations to the, this expression then this expression becomes eg is equal to x minus 0.0591 into ph plus eag agcl plus esa this expression can be written as eg is equal to eg not minus 0.0591 into ph where eg not is the sum of x plus eag agcl plus esa so by using this expression we can calculate the glass electrode potential <laughs>